Hey, it's Natalie Zafat, and today I'm talking with Samsung's Dr. David Rue about how healthcare providers can use data to benefit their patients. So talk us through the patient journey and what you're doing in terms of brain injury assessments. One of the real exciting things is that we're starting to recognize that technology can be used to better assess brain injury uh, and as well as treat it. One of the partners that we work with very closely uh, has developed a technology that allows us to be able to assess concussions in which they've looked at eye tracking uh, and, and they found that the ability to quantify a degree in which you go off of the, the eye tracking allows us to quantify the, the severity of the uh, concussion. Sometimes when these individuals continue these exercises, they actually have faster time to recovery. So there seems to be some kind of correlation with uh, some of the things that we're, we're doing from an assessment standpoint and the overall functional uh, recovery. And that's what's really exciting when we can start applying technology to diagnose, quantify, and then potentially allow us to improve care. How are healthcare providers bringing together data and diagnosis? Well, what's really interesting is that while each of these tools will allow us to do assessments, will allow us to potentially improve the outcomes, with the data we can better understand how an individual is doing and maybe even be able to define newer treatment modalities. So it's an emerging area. We don't really have a real good answer. Uh, perhaps it's not just data from the uh, things that we're doing for the ongoing assessment, but maybe it's physiologic data, perhaps wearing a wearable, looking at you know, kind of one's physiologic response as in conjunction with maybe one's eye movements, in conjunction with one's ability to do motor function. These are the types of tools that we now have available. Drawing insights from it is going to be really the key. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.